Uh, let's see, so Nick, why don't you tell me a little bit about your uh, career goals? Uh, well, I'll be graduating in May, so <coughs> once, I'm, once I've graduated, I plan to work for a CPA firm and uh, get my, uh, you know, sit for the CPA exam and probably in two years or so from graduating, have it all completed. <coughs> and then, I don't know, maybe like five years, maybe manager, if that's doable. Uh -huh. Are you, um, now we're in San Francisco, are you looking to move to the Bay Area, or are you going to commute from here? What's your kind of plan that way? Oh yeah, I have, um, if I'm lucky enough to get a job in San Francisco, I will be moving there. Okay. Objection here, if you are interviewing with a firm in the city, you don't tell them you want to commute from Roner Park, okay? I just went, eh, eh. In the old days, Jerry remembers those, Students tried to commute from Rotor Park to San Francisco. It, it's all you do is get fat because you're on a bus, you're eating all the time. <laughs> it's very, very difficult, and students burn out. And the firms got tired of that because they'd hire somebody and they'd last a year, and then they'd want to move back to Sonoma County. If you are interviewing with a firm in San Francisco, you want to say, "Hey, I'm looking to move to the Bay Area." Now, does that mean I got to live in San Francisco? No, I could live in San Rafael, I could live in Mill Valley, I could live in the East Bay. But you want to let them know, you know, as part of the career, there's a whole career package here. It's not just about doing the work, it's about being part of the company. And it's important to let them know, if I'm interviewing at one of these companies, is, yeah, I'm looking, you know, I'm excited because I like the Bay Area. I like San Francisco, I like the energy. And again, that's somewhere where I can go off on a tangent as an employer. Well, what do you like about the energy of San Francisco? You know? Or I like Walnut Creek. Well, because I like the shopping. Yeah, that would be my answer. Well, you like shop. Okay. Well, depending on who you interview, that may or may not be a good response. But anyway, the thought process being, if you're interviewing with somebody in the city, let them know that you're ready to move. If you're interviewing with a local firm, you don't want to say, well, if I don't get that job in a city, I'll be excited to work with you guys. <laughs> There's nothing wrong. Well, I won't say that. There's nothing really wrong with talking out of both sides of your mouth. Until you have an offer, you're not obligated anywhere. So if I'm talking to somebody from Santa Rosa, I want to live in Santa Rosa. If I'm talking to somebody <laughs> in San Francisco, I want to live in San Francisco. When you get your offer, then you decide. Um, let's see, and are you looking to work in audit or tax? Um, I'm actually really excited to work in audit. I think that, uh, now why is that? Well, have you had an auditing class? Yeah, I had an auditing class, and it was very interesting to be able to go through just companies' financials and you know trying to verify all their numbers. It was um, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and have you had any um, experience in accounting? At, at this point, I haven't. No. Okay, but that's why I'm interviewing for this internship, I'd really like to get some experience in accounting. And I also um, want to know more about what the job's actually like. Okay, great. Uh, I won't stand up because I'm getting old here. Key, key thing again, I ask audit or tax, you have to have an answer, okay? Uh, the work experience thing, a lot of people worry about that. Uh, Nick had no work experience. Most of you aren't going to have accounting. When I say work experience, I'm talking accounting work experience. Most of you won't have that. And, and a good answer is that's why, you know, that's why I'm looking for the leadership. That's why I'm looking for the internship so that I can get that experience so I can see what it's really like. So don't be afraid that you haven't had accounting experience. I mean, if you're an 18 to 22 year old or 25 or whatever you are, unless you're in a, a, the accounting world, where would you get accounting experience? Most of your jobs are going to be the jobs that you get for the summer. There's nothing, you know, bad about that. So don't don't worry about that as far as whether they'll hire me or not. I get a lot of emails saying, hey, I don't have any accounting experience. Should I even apply? <coughs> yeah, you should apply. So Nick, now, right now I'll ask you kind of a few general questions so I better get to know you. Okay. Um, kind of your work and your study habits. Uh, could you provide me of an example of a time? when you worked on a project or job uh, with little supervision and how you went about doing that? Well, uh, I used to work at a bank and I had to be able to approve large deposits without supervision uh, because the manager wasn't available to work on weekends. So I would work weekends and um, it was important to figure out 
you know, be confident in knowing what you're doing and also be able to figure out whether a large check, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar check would be fraudulent or not, and what signs to look for. So. Mm -hmm. well, okay. So you're pretty much left on your own now on the weekend. Yeah, I pretty much ran the show. Oh, okay, great. Uh, could you tell me about a time when it was important to the success of a project that you actually win somebody's trust? Who was the individual and how did you go about doing that? Um, actually, uh, the banquet last semester, I had to, when I was putting on the banquet, it was important for me to win the faculty advisor's trust so that I could, you know, so that you would know that I know what I'm doing. Um, also, it was important for me so that I felt confident later on doing other things that were maybe as complicated or more complicated that I knew I could do it. Uh -huh. so. And how did that work out with the uh, advisor? Did well, he trust you then eventually? Or? Well, yeah, he, he uh, pretty much halfway through the semester started letting me make most of the decisions, and sometimes I would run things by him, but most of the time I was... Those are two, uh, two examples of the behavioral questions, okay? If you go to our website, again, Super Greg back there has a whole list of those behavioral questions. I would review those questions. Those are the tough ones, okay? Now, Nick, really good examples there. Hey, supervision, okay? I'm at a bank. That's showing in my work. So I was work, responsible, bank. That, that's, that's pretty much showing responsibility there. Okay, uh, goes to the banquet, which has already been brought up, so I've got some background there. So you, again, want to use examples possibly from your resume or things in your life. Be specific. That's the other thing that we keep hearing. Not a generic answer, okay, not one everybody else would say. Talk about real people and real things in your life. If you frame food and can't think of anything, sometimes it's not a bad thing to just make something up, okay? <coughs> But make sure it answers the question. When Nick goes here, you don't want to answer a question. You know, you don't want to come in there thinking you're going to give your example no matter what question they ask. You have to tailor your, your answer. But what you don't want to do is say, I, I just don't know. Okay? You've got to come up with something. The other thing, because it came up to me because I just heard somebody's cell phone, make sure you turn your cell phone off when you go into the interview. Okay? Yeah. Okay. We're almost done here. Um, do you have any questions for me? Yeah. Um, what's the internship like? I, I've heard a lot about it, but I'm, what kind of details can you uh, Basically, it's a 12-week process. Uh, it's full-time. It's fully paid. We're going to train you the first couple weeks, and then what we're going to do is we're going to assign you to real clients. You'll be working with a real audit team. And we hope to get you some experience so that you can make a, a decision at the end of your internship whether you're happy with us and of course whether we're happy with you. Okay. So I actually get in contact, get contact with clients. Yeah, well. we're gonna put you right out there. You'll be working on engagements. Uh, you'll be doing the full work that the, we expect from the auditors. Uh, obviously, your learning curve is gonna be a lot greater because uh, you've never done this before. Right. Uh, but we think that what we want to do is give you a valuable experience so you can kind of come back and uh, you know, evaluate if this is a place and, and if this is a career that you want to do. Okay. Any other questions that uh, you might have? Okay. Uh, yeah, actually. Um, so at Arthur Waterhouse, you're a senior manager, you said? Senior manager, been here for eight years. Uh, like yourself, got out of school, interviewed with a number of firms. Uh, I just kind of found that uh, I want to move to the Bay Area. I'm a big Giants fan. Uh, thought that uh, they're a little bit smaller, not a big four. I didn't want to feel like a number, but it still gave me the career growth, big clients that I was looking for. Okay. And that's I mean, what specifically do you like about the firm, the culture? Uh, right now, you know, it's always been good people. You know, and people will tell you that. You're going to interview with a lot of uh, different firms, and they're going to tell you it's about the people. And, uh, and to be honest, if, uh, if we invite you back, you're going to meet people, and they're going to be our best people. Uh, but you're going to have an idea if those are the type of people that you want to work for, if those are the type of people that you see yourself uh, kind of like and mingling. And, uh, but that's pretty much what got me in here and what's kept me here. We're going to interview a bunch of people, and then we're going to make our decision. We should get back to you within a week. Okay? Awesome. Great. Well, it was nice meeting you, Nick. Thank you.